Well, it's good YouTube Flash Speaks back for another video. Um, I actually didn't plan on making a video today, but um, I, I couldn't believe just what, what I've seen today. Um, I knew that the, uh, you know, the, um, the Chitlin, uh, the Chitlin circuit would go on today. Um, I expected that from, uh, from ESPN and FS1 and so on. Uh, I, I expected to see the Chitlin circuit. You know, if you don't know what that is, you you got you're just going to look that up. Uh, but Stephen A. Smith today really prompted me to make this video because I guess he does. I, I think he doesn't get it, man. Um, I, I think Stephen A. Smith is a little older than me. I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up. But we're probably in a similar age range, I guess. But I would guess he's a little older than I am. But, you know, I expect him to have a little bit more wisdom. Being a man, I believe he's married, or I know he's at least been in a long relationship. He's kind of dealt with women. And he says that he has um, sisters. You know, he has a mother that he's very close with and sisters. So I'm kind of shocked at his, his lack of wisdom when it comes to uh, understanding women. You know, now most of you other Negroes out there, I know y'all got problems. You know, I could just look at our marriage and divorce rates, you know, and I can look at many of you who got child support issues and all those types of things and, and, and garner and gather. Listen, I know us and how we get down, but I'm surprised at Stephen A. Smith. Um, listen, I'm not that guy, never that simp guy or any of that. But what I am is I'm a truther. I'm a truther. So I'm going to have to explain something to y'all real quick. And this is what Stephen A. Smith doesn't get in the, uh, the, the little argument, the little spat what he had with Monica McNutt. Stephen A. Smith doesn't get that in Monica McNutt's, McNutt's mind and in the mind of all these women, I can't speak for them, but I can just imagine that Stephen, Stephen A. Smith is completely disrespectful to them, right? And this is based on um, different um, research I've, I've done of women in the, in the WNBA, like one is Alicia Clark, who's a video I actually... Um, I recorded, you know, earlier. You can check that out, you know, in my videos. Uh, also, um, the L.A. Sparks uh, guard. I forget her name. I forget her name right now. I'm a little scrambled brain. It, I guess it'll come to me in a minute. Uh, Lexi, Lexi Brown, yeah, also, you know, they were asked about Caitlin Clark. And I heard nothing disrespectful. Actually, these are very intelligent, well-spoken women. Uh, Angel Reese, very intelligent, well-spoken, all right? And all you little, all you little clowns want to call them thugs and all that. Listen, fuck you. All right, just, just get off my page, uh, unsubscribe. Don't follow me. All right, I don't have time for that. All right, because I know where it comes from, and all of that. Like you people like you in real life, I don't mess with. Like if I'm working on a job, I don't. Guys like you with that mentality, you go, you stay away from me at the job. Like I'm, I'm that, I'm that crazy black dude that put hands on you. Right. So just stay away from me with that stuff. All right. That's that's just a little side thing. Now back, back to our regularly. Uh, scheduled programming and I apologize for all of you you know who um, that doesn't apply to who may be offended right uh, Stephen A. Smith is very disrespectful in that he assumes he assumes that the women of the WNBA don't understand what Caitlin Clark brings to the table in terms of revenue in terms of eyes in terms of attention he he speaks um and he doesn't realize it. And sometimes we as men, we do that. We speak in a very condescending manner, right? As if we believe these women ultimately don't have the intellect to kind of see it. It's still an underlining assumption that they're so testosterone rich. I mean, that they're so estrogen riddled that they can't understand the big picture. That they're only just two dimensional thinkers who don't understand. Um, that can be the case for some women. But really, if you look at uh, Monica McNutt, she's very articulate, clearly very intelligent, and actually got over on Stephen A. Smith uh, in the debate. And I think that's what bothers them more than anything. Because Stephen A. Smith is the one that walked away in his feelings. Like for all of you in the comment section and want to say, oh, Monica McNutt was just emotional and this and that. Nah, Stephen A. Smith had to take to his own personal um, YouTube and keep talking about it. So he's the one that's all up in his feelings about what she said, which was factual, that you don't cover the WNBA. He wants to talk about how they cover it more than other people. No, you don't cover it enough, in her opinion. And it's the truth. All right? Just embrace it. Just say, yeah, you're right, we don't, because, you know, it's not a cash cow for us. We're only about money around here. Just say that. 
you know, at least that's truthful. But don't act like you've covered the WNBA. You don't. You know, I watched uh, the first take, you know, religiously almost, right? Hate to say that word blinded in the first take, but I watch it a lot. Watch it enough to know that they don't talk about it. All right? But this is what Stephen A. Smith doesn't get. He doesn't get that the women do understand uh, that this whole draft class, because it's also Angel Reese, which they don't talk about, which is which is disgusting and pathetic as well, that they don't talk about that. What's also disgusting and pathetic is that they don't understand that pushing one player is never going to work, that you have to push both players. Now, why do they care about uh, Caitlin Clark's fan base and not care about Angel Reese's fan base? Even though if you look, at popularity wise, if you were to judge off of like social media, uh, you know, um, popularity, Angel Reese actually is much more popular. And she has three and a half million followers to Caitlin Clark's two million. Angel Reese is the one that's at the White Sox games throwing the pitch. Angel Reese is the one that's actually uh, chilling with Megan Thee Stallion, chilling with. All these other other people, there's uh, other rapper that I'm not um, familiar with. Okay, but the young people know. You can correct. You can fill me in if uh, you know if I don't know. She's just as celebrity as Caitlin Clark is, but the difference. And I hate to say this, but let's be for real. Caitlin Clark brings in middle American white folks, whereas whereas Angel Reese, it's a black following. Like, let's be real, Stephen A. Right? The white following takes precedence. And I get it. <laughs> they they're more white people. So I, I get it. I do. But let's not like ignore the elephant in the room. Okay? So that's why Steve that's why they're gonna pick Caitlin Clark. Of course. Of course they're gonna pick Caitlin Clark. <clears throat> like if I'm selling a product, maybe I would. Who knows? You know. Uh but number one, you're disrespecting Monica McNutt, you're also disrespecting those women when you believe that they just aren't intelligent enough to grasp the argument. That's number one. That insults them. And number two, that's going to make that worse for Caitlin Clark. That's all that's going to do. And then number two, let's say they do grasp your argument you're trying to make. You're trying to make this big, big argument. You're saying, okay, she's the cash cow, so milk it. This is your whole point, right? Let's say, let's, let's go with that. The question, Stephen A., what does milking it look like? What does milking it look like? What do you mean, milk it? What is that? Does that mean let her score 30 points? Let her be MVP? What does that mean? Don't play against her? And then you know what they'll say? Oh, of course not. No, no, co compete. Okay. So they are competing. You see, this is called a lose-lose situation, Stephen A. And that's what you're not understanding. You want them to grasp your little point that you, you stupidly believe they don't grasp. They do grasp the point. And then you're not providing what does that look like? What does milking it look like? What does milking the cash cow look like? You, of course you're going to say, oh no, it's in the spirit of competition. No, let, you know, at least Jeff T was honest when he said, yeah, just let him win. Right? Which insults the fan base, which insults the fan base, someone like me. I don't want to watch a version of the All-Star game where, you know, you sit there and you let somebody, you let the team score 100 points. I like competition. I want to see her score against the best defense. That's when that scoring is going to mean something. Right? So that's what you're not getting, Stephen A. Smith. Stop believing that women are, re are retards who need you to explain everything. She gets the, the argument. But what is she supposed to do with it, Stephen A? What does milking it look like? And all of you people who are proponents of this, please explain to me what that means. And do not come in here with this bullshit about, oh, it means don't hurt her. Nobody. Who the hell is trying to hurt her? You, bro, come on, man. Let's be for real. Do you know what trying to hurt someone looks like? I know you don't think that that, sh that blue bullshit that Kennedy Clark did is trying to hurt somebody. I know you don't think that. <laughs> and then you completely ignore Kennedy Clark. She had she did a whole interview today. I bet you Stephen A. fucking Smith didn't even watch that. And that's why we don't respect you, dog. That's why we don't respect you around here. Right? That's why. 
Because really, all you are about is money. And listen, I get it. I get it. People like you, that's all you think it's about out here. Just whatever is going to get me paid. Let me just go do that. Let me just go get the money. Get the bag. That's it. Listen, I'm not even hating that. I like money as much as the next man. I'm just not willing over to bend over and take it for money. That's all. Some people are. I get it. Hey, you know, ain't nothing but a little, little, little D up the rear. Yeah, hey, uh, you know. Some people look at it like, yeah, you know. I can take that. Like me, I'm just not. I'm just not willing to do that. It's a whole lot of things I'm not willing to do for money. You'd be surprised. Because I understand. I came into this world without it. I'm going to leave <laughs> when I die. Hey, hey, what? I ain't taking none of it with me. And then if it's, you know, like, and I'm going to leave y'all with this, man. <clears throat> money is not the greatest thing in this world. The greatest thing in this world is something called buttercup, which means in, in English means blessings. That's the greatest thing in this world. Blessings. If you have money that is blessed, it's better than money that ain't blessed. This is why a drug dealers' money doesn't benefit them. This is why a criminals' money don't benefit them. Whereas money that's blessed, oh yeah, that's what benefits you. All right? And blessings is what? It's good energy coming from the creator. All right? That's all I got, man. Peace out.